Okay, hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. So today, just me trying something new and something not so new. <laughs> I got one shade of Natasha Denona's new Puff Paint Liquid Blush. That's so weird, the shade name's not on here. <laughs> but it's the cherry one. Hold on a second, what the hell? Okay, so this is Bloom. And I got this because it seems to be inspired by um, her Bloom palette. So um, that came out when I was not yet wearing blushes <laughs> and uh, I really wanted that palette. I might have to just get that palette because it, that was like one of the palettes that really just made me feel like I need to start looking into blush. Cause before, I don't know if I ever really talked about this, but I just never really thought that I would use blushes because I'm always, I, you know, I have so much redness naturally in my cheeks, but I found that <laughs> after evening everything out, especially when I use a more full coverage foundation, I love adding back some of the redness or a lot of the redness as I'm sure you have know, you know, if you're not new here, <laughs> you know that I like to be happy with blush. Anyway, so <laughs> she released these uh, three, there's three shades. There's Tan, um, Daria, which is like a pink. And then there's this one that's like a cherry and it's called Bloom. Anyways, so we're trying that. And then um, Marc Jacobs is discontinuing all of their stuff. And I, I believe they're reformulating. So everything's like 50% off right now. So I got this palette for like 25 bucks. Usually they're like 50 or it was 20 or something. It was, you know, marked down heavily. <laughs> I've always been interested in these palettes, you know, back when swatching things in store was a thing, I would always go up to them and like check them out. And yeah, I don't know. I always just thought they looked so fun in this shape. Normally they're all black, but this is the one, this one's called um, Extravagance and it's in this limited edition packaging. I'm not sure if this is um, a new, newish color scheme or if it was just in new packaging. I'm not sure. Because I, I feel like the name Extravagance, I feel like it's been, it's been around for a while. I don't know though, but these are their uh, Marc Jacobs iconic eyeshadow palettes. Like iconic, you feel me? The only thing is mine came broken, <laughs> but it's okay. It was just this black shade and yeah, it was kind of messy and, and stuff, but I pretty much cleaned it all. I mean, you still see a little bit on the mirror, the dust or whatever from the shadow. And it did sort of like, spill over into the whole palette but um i dyed my hair blue yesterday and then today i added um my rose gold dye into it and so now it's like purpley and i'm just so excited to see how it's gonna fade this color reminds me so much of my high school days of dyeing my hair i used to always do like a blue purple oh my god i can't see look from that palette. <laughs> I have like black marks just um, all over my hands and everything just from touching that palette. And now it's all over my mirror and my face. What the fuck? Oh my God, but it's like, okay, uh, hold on. I need to go like clean this palette again. <laughs> okay, so also shout out to Liv <laughs> from Nunes and recommending these clips that everyone has now. So I just tried to like wipe things down. Um, there was a lot of this shadow falling everywhere still. Yeah, so, so I just sprayed a little bit of kimchi setting spray in there um, because it's like heavy on the alcohol. So I feel like maybe that'll help like re-solidify everything when it dries. So we might not go into that black shade. I think I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. So yeah, this will be my first experience <laughs> with this formula other than swatching it in stores like years ago. Um, for foundation, I really want to use the NARS. <laughs> I've just been wanting to use this, even though my skin is like freaking out right now. It's like dry, it's clogged. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think I need to just start a retinol again and just stick to it and try to completely like transform my skin because I can't deal with this little like not pimples, but pimple situation that I get around my chin. It, it drives me nuts. I'm just gonna prime a little bit with the Vitamin Rich Face Base. I'm scared that this is what's breaking me out because I know that people have said this breaks them out over the years. So I'm just gonna be applying it to my forehead where I'm super dry. And then I'm gonna add a more lightweight primer for the rest of my face. That's still hydrating, but 
not as thick. Just because I'm I'm worried that this might be too much for the for all of my face, and maybe I should just use it like over the dry patches, you know? I don't know if I finished what I was saying before, but in high school I always used to <laughs> dye my hair like this, and I would mix all different colors and just put it on. One time my favorite was I had all purple, like this color purple, and then just my bangs were blue. It looked so cool. I was like tempted to just do that this time. I almost did, but. So for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty um, Water Jelly Primer. This is more lightweight, and I feel like I really have no fears of this clogging. It's just more hydrating than rich, you know? Just a little extra hydration. Just gonna apply some of the Rare Beauty Lip Balm, nearly neutral. My lips are thirsty. This is the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Oslo. This is the lightest, like, cool shade. Oslo light one. Oh, I should probably shake it. And I've only used this foundation like once or twice, so I, and I really liked it the first time as I remember, so. I forget how this dries down, so I'm just gonna start in sections and just keep adding as I go. But it has really nice coverage. A really, really nice coverage. Oh my god. It's beautiful. <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy I decided to go with this. And it really blurred instantly this whole area right here. Again, I did a whole video on this, but I feel like I'm using it <laughs> for the first time. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I pretty much get a sense of a foundation, though, like, the first time I use it. Um, there's been a couple times <laughs> that I've retried foundations and liked them or worn them a different way and liked them, but for the most part, I can pretty much gauge if it's good or not right, up, right off the bat. I also wanted to see how this blush would work on a matte foundation, because I, you know, sometimes cream and like liquid textures don't do the best over a more matte finish, you feel? And I want to see if that's going to disrupt the foundation or what. So I'm going in with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in the shade Snow. I have to stop applying this concealer all over <laughs> so fast because it dries down pretty quickly and it gets harder to blend if when you let it sit. So with this concealer, I recommend um, just working in sections. This is the Romand Better Than Shape and the Shakuta Angled Face Brush. So let's try this blush. Again, this is the shade Bloom. I'll show you one more time. It has a really soft, squishy doe foot applicator. I'm just gonna start with a little dot like that and start patting it out with my finger. I also thought it was really important to try this because of the boom of cream and <laughs> Um, liquid blushes. It's like so many are being released and I really want to just familiarize myself with more formulas. So I've been working that in. I don't think it lifted anything and it looks all right. I'm gonna try adding one like another dot right here. I'm blending with my beauty or my beauty sponge. So I, I actually, I think this is pretty. I don't know, it doesn't feel, it feels like it is, it's, it's, so it's not disrupting the texture. Hold on, I have a tear, I have a tear. I'm just adding some right here. Nothing's disrupted. There's just like a little patch right here that it's not clinging to, and it's hard to tell in these lights too. But let me apply to this side, let's see. Let's start with a little more. And I'm gonna first blend it with the sponge. Just building more and more. <laughs> I don't know, you guys will have to let me know if this looks patchy. I think it looks okay. Am I blown away? I don't know, I don't think so. I just feel like I can't get it exactly the way I want. 
I don't know. I do really like this color. Quickly gonna set under the eyes. I'm gonna set with the um, Kosas Cloud Set Powder in Airy and the Katie Jane Hughes Spectrums Brush number one. I love this brush. So, I might add a bronzer later, but for now, let's just get into this eyeshadow palette. So let's see. I'm thinking I'm gonna use these three shades here, the, for the top three shades. Oh my God, like again, just touching the palette. I've wiped it off like multiple times and I, it's still just getting everywhere. Uh, that is annoying, I will say. I don't even think I'm gonna swatch this. <laughs> just so you know, we I might swatch it. I don't know, I should swatch it. Okay, I'll, I'll do swatches, I'll do swatches. I'm gonna take the KJH number eight brush and go into that light sort of off-white cream matte. Put that everywhere. This is a soft base. Now I'm gonna go into number 18 from KJH X Spectrum and going into that light brown matte. The rougher number one into that same shade. So I'm not really blown away by this matte formula, to be honest, but it's not terrible. Taking that number eight brush again into that light matte. We're gonna just blend and blend and blend. I'm definitely adding bronzer. <laughs> it's This palette look is warm around the eyes and it looks in the pan and I feel like it's not going, these browns are not going good with this blush. So I'm gonna warm this up with a bronzer um, but let's go into this gold shade and I'm just gonna put that literally everywhere. All right. Yeah, this is palette is not, to be honest, it feels kind of cheapy. <laughs> I'm gonna return that palette. I don't even think I'm gonna swatch it. I wouldn't get it. You know, they're, they're changing everything and reformulating for a reason, you know? Well, anyways, let's add a bronzer. I'm gonna use um, Gucci number one. Here we go, I think that matches a little better now. See? Just a little warmer. This is such a good brush. I love this brush. Gonna buff with the Armani Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. Good, good, good. Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara. Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in Taupe. One last, oh, I need highlighter. I'm gonna use uh, MAC Moon Masterpiece uh, Double Gleam Highlight. And I'll just use the same KJH number eight brush. It's just such a good multitasker brush. You use it for everything. I'm just taking the glitter, my favorite glitter from Soul Diver, Tom Ford and popping that in the center. Yes, that's way better. Okay, I'm gonna go spray my face with some Round Around Green Tea Soothing Face Mist, and then we'll be back and do the final check-in. Okay, I think we're all done here. This is pretty easy. <laughs> 
basically the palette I don't recommend and I mean I've heard their, their bronzers are really good so if you if you've been wanting to try their bronzer and it's finally on sale then their liners you know I've heard are really good but my least favorite product of all time is their coconut gel highlighters <laughs> that is just like the worst um but I don't, I don't have anything against the brand at all. Like, really. I, and I'm really happy that they're reformulating things and revamping things. I think it's just what they need. And I, I'm confident that they're gonna do great. So, <laughs> you know, I don't think my one negative review <laughs> of their product that's being discontinued matters, you know? <laughs> In case you were wondering what my thoughts on that formula was, now you know, I feel like it's not that special and I'm glad they're changing things. Now this blush, I do like actually. It was a really nice cool pink. And especially after I've like added a bronzer and highlight and buffed and everything, it, it, it all came together. I think this is actually really nice. Like it doesn't look like there's any gaps like I thought before. I think maybe that's just what it was missing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was just like, why does it seem off? Maybe because I didn't have bronzer on. Because it looks really nice right now. Yeah, and I highly recommend this combo <laughs> of the Gucci bronzer, like of the Gucci bronzer and this um, blush, because the blush is a little bit more cool tone, but I feel like adding this with like a bronzer is really nice. Okay, that's all for today. Just a quick little review of a couple new things that I've picked up from here and there. I sort of have a bunch of those coming where it's like, <laughs> just like random stuff that I picked up. Like I'm gonna be doing a Bare Minerals video soon with their brush blonde, blush bronzer hybrid called a blonzer, which is sort of how I did my makeup today, actually. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I have that. And I also have their new lip balm that they just released a couple weeks ago or last week or something. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell so you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. And follow my Instagram, Prettier Than Graham. That's all. Goodbye.